Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States of America in Prince of Iron 4 Democracy Edition against mostly the Empire of Japan and her allies. So right now you're looking at my trade screen. Uh, I didn't realize I was making a little extra rubber than I uh, thought I was. So uh, I decided to get a little bit less from the UK, which reduces the number of convoys that we need, but... Oh, where are, you, where are these guys going through? Huh. Well, if I could get some more chromium, I'd probably trade with Cuba. Sorry, South Africa. So four from them, six in total, six, seven. I'm really going to buy eight from Cuba. Eight chromium to make up for the loss for everything else. Nice. And that's actually pretty good since we have far fewer convoys needing to go all the way over here. I hope. Wait, what is this? What is this up to? Oh, uh, let's see. Someone's coming in. Someone's going out. Oh, they might be buying from us. Oh, okay. That would make more sense that they're buying from us. So, like I said last time, uh, we will finish up hopefully Peru today, as well as begin baiting the enemy ships, enemy Japanese ships, into the Pacific so we can strike at their strike forces, and have a very nice time with them. Now, that being said, Japan does have an adequate or a rising amount of oil, which is fine, because they have so few ships. Really, the strike forces are the last two things we have to kill the Japanese Navy before anything else. And you know what? I'm going to bait them over here. I don't want to bait them in Saipan, the Mariana region, just because they have a lot of air, air bases. And I don't want any of their air bases to really strike out against us. But we can strike out maybe against them. That would be very good. So we got interwar bombers, tactical bombers. I want to use tactical bombers. I don't want to use interwar bombers for anything like that. Uh, these fighters are so bad. The range is so bad on these guys. But you know what? It's better than nothing. And I really, really want more naval bombers. As well as heavy fighters, which we might be researching... Mm, no. Yes. Yes. Eighty and a half percent done. Great. So let's continue on. Oh. Oh yeah. Down here. Uh, we can do joint Honduran American training exercises. So we get more army XP, air and navy XP, as well as Honduras, which is fine with me. Even though we don't really need that much more air XP, but that's fine because we will have to invade El Salvador. And since we have some allies down here, no most notably Chile. With 8 subs, killing a lot of Peruvian convoys, I'm going to mark you guys to stop doing this area. Oh yeah, set you on high repair. And you will come, because we're going to invade over here, we will invade, we will patrol the western canal zone. Because we already have our patrols patrolling this portion of the Caribbean. Wait, reinforcing. Oh, whatever. Also, this task force, I'm going to, we'll rename it to something else probably. Probably rename it to the Pacific. I don't know, maybe we'll keep it as a... Viet Wait, I spelled that wrong. Atlan... Atlantic. 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 There you go. So I will send them to the Pacific. Keep the same name because I will probably return these to the Atlantic eventually. Just to keep myself reminded that these guys have to go back eventually. But we do have a total of four carriers. It says three. But really, we have an extra one over here. An extra carrier with two more destroyers. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, do that even though it doesn't really matter. And let us get prepared for an invasion of El Salvador and really Honduras. Very nice. Oh, Honduran extraction campaign. More daily exile manpower. I mean, we're not really using our command power that much, so I don't really mind doing that. And what happened over here? Oh, we sunk two more Japanese convoys and we lost an allied sub. That sucks. Over here, we have sunk... Oh, a Japanese sub, because we did take out the Dominican Republic last time. That's very nice. And Venezuela is dead, and they're basically being guarded with military police from Colombia. Thank you, Colombia. Very cool. All right. Are our boys ready to go? It looks like, for the most part, no. They still need 11 more days to prepare, to train. And you know what? I'm going to put you over here, just because... If I need you to come to the islands quickly, well, you should be able to. Very nice. Decryption is done. Maybe we can read more into enemies' logistics. Happy 1943, everyone. It's finally 1943. 
we'll eventually get a nuclear reactor. But for now, I'm going to get with more output. And we get more max factories in a state because our construction is so already so good that I'm out of spaces to build here. I might literally need to annex somebody so I can make more room here. I'm probably going to need to do that. Radar, looking pretty spot on. Could be a little better, but you know, gotta wait till we upgrade that. Um, air bases, actually, they're all level 10, which is actually very kind of impressive already. Very nice. Good job, guys. Oh, early destroyer hole. Very cool. British Melia is dying. And we lost the plane in exchange for another convoy. Awesome. So, I really need this group up here. I need tactical bombers. Fighters are enough. Uh, I could use carrier naval bomber ones. The range isn't super good, though. I really don't like that. Let's see. Fighters. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm straight up just going to replace all the fighters that we have with heavy fighters. Because there's no point in using just regular fighters, like I said before. Oh, Senator... Blah, blah. Senator votes for government proposal. Very nice. All right. Oh, 35 things. Holy crap. Uh, anything interesting? We don't really need any of this yet, I think. Improved worker conditions. I might do that. Homeland Defense. Rosie the Riveter. I have not seen this. Total mobilization. More manpower, but less stability. All right. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. We need more house support. That's fine. We can do that. Whole light ship production. I did switch around some of our production to go to be diverted away from this group here just because we already have four carriers, seven battleships, a heavy cruiser, and then the rest are screens. Now that means we have 12 capital ships in total, which means you should really have at least 48 screens. So I'm going to wait. We need eight more screens before I feel, well, maybe four. Eight more screens before we send these guys off. So I've set all the other capital ships I'm currently producing to other areas that really could use them. Oregon, uh, oh, auto, uh, send you to the battleships, battle force, whatever that is, just because I just need as many screens as possible, you guys are healing up, I'm doing an okay job with that, also, before we leave here, I want to show you this, uh, we have pretty good battleships, four early ones, which aren't great, another one over here, Colorado class, but, we do have the 1940 heavy ship hull, th uh, with USS Arkansas, but what I really want to show you, is this baby, the USS North Carolina. The super heavy battleship hull. Oh my gosh. Look at this bad boy. 64 reliability. 64%. 770 HP. 9,000 members that are crew members. Uh, light attack's okay. Light piercing's eh. Heavy attack is freaking huge. Heavy piercing's not great. The armor is extremely high. 75.6. And the anti air's okay. Uses a ton of fuel. But really, I need more heavy piercing. Now, the only way to get heavy piercing... I thought we've already gone over this. Pretty sure we have. The only way you get more heavy piercing is if you continue to upgrade the guns, which are improved heavy batteries. So it gives you a little bit more piercing, I believe. A little less speed, more production costs, as well as... Oh, what are these? Heavy advanced batteries. Oh my gosh. Even less speed and a little bit more piercing. So that's what I really, really want. Oh, and then this gives you more heavy and light attack. Nice. Yeah, very cool. All right. All right, so we've got to speed up time just a little bit. Oh, that's not good. We lost a convoy in exchange for sinking or shooting down three enemy planes. Eh, it's not really worth it. 1943 stuff. We do more air doctrine. Ooh, fighter and heavy fighter agility. Ooh, that could be so good. But what about naval doctrine? For all we're done with naval doctrine. Naval stuff? Guns? Chance to receive critical hit goes down by 10%. That's actually not too bad. Oh god, there's oh I'm, I'm so far behind on artillery, Jesus. Armor, uh I could do armor as well. Support companies could be used as well. God, with this with man the guns, it feels like Let's see capital growth. Retention. On capital growth. It feels like it's just never enough for me to research. there's too much for me to research to make an effective, really you know, not bad navy. Alright, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and try to invade. Hopefully we won't lose all of our soldiers in the invasion. But yeah, with man the guns, there's so much technology that you really need to research to have it an adequate navy. It feels like I could use like another research slot. It's like Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron game. That's an old game that I really started with Hearts of Iron with. Oh, Ireland joined the Allies. 
that I really, really loved. I played it all the time in high school. And then that game, I, I think, maybe it was, I'm pretty sure it was that game where you could have a ton of research slots based on the number of factories I think you had. I think that's what, how it worked. Come on, please get on land here. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, force attack. That's when I'm going to use my, some of my command power, because we're going to invade here as well, beat these guys up, and then I was going to help this port area with this airbase, but I think they're doing okay by themselves. Yeah, very nice. What's the manpower like of El Salvador? Eh, 33,000, that's not bad. Improved artillery upgrade. Well, we have to get to the next cannon so we don't produce our... Any sort of outdated tech. Alright, so... Uh, you guys could come probably here. We could whittle down... How how are we able to defeat five enemy divisions? Oh, they only have two artillery battalions. Oh, that would make, that would make sense. With only three divisions compared to their five. Uh, you know what? You help them out. This way, Japan will run out of countries to ally with in South America. But, of course, we still have Peru, which is a pain in the big old honk, honky butt. Honky, honky butt. Please give it your all, which I'm sure you will. But, it's really weird that we can't see what they're up to now. Uh, actually, don't choose you. Choose the tanks. Come here. Oh, wait, you have to attack... Oh, actually... If that's the case, you guys attack down here, and you guys help down here. Drain them, continue to drain them of the resources. How are we losing? Holy crap, they have six divisions. We need airplanes down here. <clears throat> On during government exile, it's time for them to return home. Fine with me. Fine, fine, fine with me. Go ahead, just put, I guess, two more fighters, even though we have fighter ones over there. Ooh, nice, we got some more naval bombers. Ready to go. Do that, and I'll put you with this group. Even though you don't even have the range to do this, so that kind of sucks. Oh, well, I guess, yeah. Honduras is completely back. Nice job, guys. And actually, since we're all here, hold the line, we'll attack El Salvador, or San Salvador, Salvador, Central American state, San Salvador, whatever. And, oh, nothing happened. Let's go ahead and put another naval bomber down here. By another naval bomber, I mean 100 more naval bombers. Because we will use our ships to bait them out. And uh, fighter ones, I think fighter ones have just a little better range. But I'm going to put in the tactical bombers anyways. Even though their range, oh my god, look at the tactical bomber ones range. Compared to the fighters, this is just, this is just a joke. It's just a joke. Oh, we, we have ships down here. Oh, we have our marines down there. Awesome. I'm not going to you bait and my marines when it comes to them doing over there. Like, I don't want to put them over here in the West Emperor chain just to get blown up in the water. Alright. Ooh, air support. Awesome. So we get more close air support production as well as tactical bomber production. That's awesome. Man, Oh, I really want to do the Manhattan Project. We need nukes. We will definitely need nukes. Pentagon. Close air support. Tactical bomber. Air doctrines. Well, convoys. Well, fun. The Navy is completely obsolete for us. This stuff we can pretty much ignore. Battleship primacy. Maritime, trade convoy production, inv amphibious invasion speed, and more dockyard construction. That really doesn't affect us too much anymore. I probably need to do some more of the that stuff, but let's go ahead and get Manhattan Project, which will help with... With... Or, with... I keep saying with. Nuclear tech. Very cool. Honduran extraction campaign. Fine with me. And we lost a sub, but we did shoot down... We lost two planes. Did sink an enemy Japanese convoy. Oh god, this is so bad. But at least the British Raj is doing pretty well. They've definitely expanded into Yunnan. Uh, how is the... So oh, the Soviets and the Germans. Well, how supports me? Very good. Oh, we get up to 50 representatives. This is terrifying. It's only 1943, and this is very terrifying. The Baku oil fields are almost in German control, which is not very good. But the last time I checked, I think Germany was, even without this oil, they were still doing very, very well. So... This is really not looking good. Uh, they don't have many doctors. They got a lot of divisions, but I did check. They are running completely out of equipment. Germany is on a steamroll. Holy crap. That's insane. It's just... Oh, God, Germany. Why? Why are you so strong now? Nice and the convoy sunk. Oh, my gosh. Just Germany, please. Why do you have to be like this? All right. Do we have any other things here? We've got more interwar fighters. 
more interwar bombers. Close air support, I don't think they have good enough range. Yeah, it's better than the regular fires, but you know what? I'll, I'll need, I will need as much naval bombing as humanly possible to bait out the Japanese, one of the Japanese strike forces. You absolutely have to have that. Destroyer torpedo attack. Ooh, 75 days for the... I have to research other things in 1943 than just naval stuff. Ah, oh, so bad. Torpedo attack plus 20%, that's a nice... And, oh, we lost another sub, yeah, to be expected. How is our fleet looking like? I don't think we've probably added too much more here. 57, oh, okay. Oh, we've actually added 45 screens, that's really good. A few more weeks, probably, and we'll have enough screens for us to do a naval battle down there. In that one location I'm talking about. Yeah. That one location called the West Emperor Chain. Send half you guys, and go ahead and just help them out. I mean, I'm thinking we're probably going to crush them. Yeah. How's Peru looking? Well, we've definitely taken this spot, which is awesome. And they want to attack, so when they're attacking and they can't really defend very well, we'll also attack. This area is, gonna, is a real bitch to take, though. Ugh. And you know what? Send this guy down here. Oh, crap. We can't do that. Uh. Send you guys over here as well. Can you do something like that? Can I send one division from here? Maybe it's a distraction. They have three divisions that are holding out against all of ours. Maybe we can do well. Maybe. Mm, come on. No. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. 87. Throw you two more divisions in that way. And we did it. Good. Just keep pushing them down. And we're probably not going to win there, so I'm not even going to try that. And we lost two. Ooh, wow. Two subs. All right. How is San Salvador? That is the last city in Central America that we need to take. Guarded by 17 divisions while we attack with 23. Take some casualties. Well, we've killed one division off. We've killed... Where'd they go? Mm, they went somewhere. Hopefully we killed them all off. And let's see. Well, that's a lot of casualties. 188,000 is a lot of casualties for a small country like El Salvador. And now Honduras owns them. Good job, guys. I mean, I guess... I, we, we still have states that we could do better infrastructure stuff to. Uh, there we go. I wonder why it wasn't working. Go ahead and build up just all the infrastructure. Because I'm really running out of things to build in the country without more max factories in the state. You know what? Screw it. We'll do even Hawaii. Yeah, these islands don't have any like natural resources that we could really benefit from. Maybe except for fruit. But fruit is not a resource in this game. Yeah, don't they make like a, a lot of pineapple in Hawaii or something? Maybe mangoes? That doesn't really help us, though. I mean, if we were starving, like if they had a starvation mechanic in this game, which would be probably against the Geneva Convention, or something like that, people would be like, Oh my god, you can't starve people in a game like this. Oh yeah? Well, I'm sure someone's created a mod for that already. But whatever. Awesome. So, we have Central America completely under our control. God, we got a lot of infantry divisions already. Which means we can now begin to send you guys elsewhere. Can I... I want to declare war on Guatemala. Why? I generate world tension. But that would just help our faction out so much. Look at that. It's just like United States, Mexico, screw Mexico, Guatemala. And then Honduras, then Nicaragua. And then Costa Rica, Panama... Colombia, Ecuador, that other state that we're fighting against called Peru. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Can you come up this way? And I'll send not that tank, but this tank to help out. Uh, yeah, and Chile is also helping us out in this war. As well as Uruguay. I forgot about Uruguay. Oh my god. Look at the axis. This is terrifying. Look how much of Africa they own in Europe. Just, oh my gosh. And we also have the Philippines in our lines, which... Aren't doing very much, honestly. I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me. Wahoo! Oop, my bad, guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, so. You're going to come back here, base in Norfolk, and you're going to combine with that carrier fleet. That, I guess, backup carrier fleet. Ooh, nice. Three Japanese convoys sunk. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How are the ships doing in the Pacific? Over here. The task force is docked. Repairing, repairing, docked. That's good. Obviously, we need a ton more screens here. We only have 18 for 
399 capital ships and two light cruisers. Ooh. Let's see. Modify the government. 151 political power. Yeah, I'm never going to get Detroit Arsenal. By the time I get it, I'll be making modern tanks. Not even really using tanks too much. Uh, let's see. Infantry or... Uh, more attack is always nice. Drilling. Recovery rate. Air Force. Actually, we probably should do Air Force. We can't do this. Send Lindbergh to Germany. Oh. Wait. F fighters. Fuel usage minus 10%. So that means they might use more, maybe? They probably use more. Uh, night operations. Actually, that makes a ton of sense because Carl Spatz was like the first guy to help organize a strike against Japan after Pearl Harbor in our timeline. Air experience gain. Oh, plus 15% is quite a bit, even though we already have 500. Air safety probably would be best. Night operations actually wouldn't be too bad either. Is there anything over here? Amphibious naval invasion speed. Sortie efficiency. Ground support. Naval AA attack. Oh my gosh. What, do, what is this guy doing? Oh, attack and defense. Uh, we have carriers. Naval attack, ground support. I think I have got to go with sword efficiency. That was, this makes our planes even more powerful. And more wins, hopefully. More fun, right? That's how it works. Let's see. Ooh, destroyed an early destroyer hull. Oh, another destroyer. Another destroyer. And another... Are they doing something down here? Japan. Girl, what you doing down here? I don't like what you're doing. Actually, I don't like what you've been doing for the past two years. We've only been in war with them for two years. We've been losing a lot of ships. But honestly, we've been doing pretty darn decent, I would say. All right, are you guys up here yet? You are. Awesome. Combine. Four carriers, three screens, and 19 destroyers. Now, I'm going to position them in Hawaii. Even though I'm going to keep them under the Atlantic fleet, I'm going to use both use this fleet, as well as our main strike force fleet, in just the West Emperor chain. Hopefully this will be okay for us. Now we have 46 capital ships. We're so close to doing, <clears throat> excuse me, to doing the naval battle that I really want to see happen. Now that's another convoy sunk. What's up with this area? I'm going to send those naval bombers up here too, just in case. But I don't mind sending some more, oh, tactical bombers. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have that guy. That's not bad. And send the naval bombers up here. Their range is actually even worse. I should I should put the tactical bombers up here. That's okay though. Fighters, uh, interwar bombers, yeah, yeah. That's okay. All right, ace pilot promoted, and we sunk an enemy destroyer, and we sunk an enemy convoy, and we sunk four enemy ships, and then three more enemy planes. Ships, planes, same thing, right? Oh wait, we have oh we have fighters ready to oh oh yeah I'm just gonna get rid of these fighters. I I have to have heavy fighters and actually you know what uh, I'm not gonna upgrade them. No, we're researching the next best fighters. I'm gonna upgrade level three heavy fighters. It's a plane. Oh, I sunk a, I shot down a plane. Lost a plane. Nothing happened there in that plane. We need more. Chromium. Senator votes for government proposal. Awesome. Plane lost. Plane lost. Plane lost. Plane lost. And let me guess. Plane lost because they're trying to shoot down the convoys. Which is fine with me as long as you kill the Japanese planes. That's okay with me. So, and The closer they get to the Philippines, the more air defense we hopefully will have. Ooh. Nice. Another destroyer was sunk. Oh, what's happening down here? Oh my gosh. We lost quite a few planes. Holy cow, a lot of battles going over here. Battles? Battles. Another destroyer sunk, and another destroyer, and advanced fire base is done. Great stuff. God dang it. Alright. Have our ships made it over here? Yes. Awesome. Uh, we know we have already have a ton of destroyers in that fleet. I suppose it wouldn't be bad to go ahead and try this. Alright, so before, before we're really ready to go, West Emperor Chain will be the battlefield of the seas for us. Uh, there's really nothing... Oh, we're starting to make some heavy fighters. That's good. That's very good. That'll just make sure that we dominate the area. So, I'm not going to tell them to rebase anywhere else. You guys, West Emperor Chain, uh, actually, you need to rebase in Hawaii, probably. Just go to Hawaii first. Just because when I tell you to do Strike Force, 
Midway. Do Midway. No, you have to go to Midway. Why? Because they're going to be the strike force while the other group patrols. So we need a little bit of time for this. Let's see. Oh, Manhattan Project done. That was a fast 70 days. Holy cow. That was a fast, fast, fast 70 days. Defense of the Pacific. War plan yellow. Uh, land auction. This is useless now, basically. And mobilization speed. More manpower down here. We could use that. Tank experiments. Armored. Infantry. Bonus for motorized. Really, I think my thing is just for the Air Force. Tactical bombers. Um, let's do tactical bombers. Yeah, we're losing planes like crazy down here now. Holy cow. This is where we really, really need more naval bombers, tactical bombers, and heavy fighters. Which we're making some. Yeah, they're just shooting down all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and they don't even have air superiority. It's just them, the convoys, destroying all my planes. What was that? Micronesian Gap? Oh, oh, we're getting invaded. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's not fine to get invaded, but I have... What was that? Four divisions defending, and we're winning with a Dominion of Canada division down here, so... Yeah. Oh, did something successful come out of this here? Oh, uh, was shot down or sunk an enemy convoy. That's always nice, right? Lost another sub. All right, so here we go. This is my battle plan the entire time. You guys are down here. I'm going to put you on strike force first. And your only area is this area. West Emperor Chain. I want this group. And by this group, I mean the... This group. To patrol. Just this area. There's no other area I want you to patrol. Not that area. Not the Western Canal Zone. Just in the Pacific. I know I'm using these four carriers and all these screens as bait. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do that. Hopefully we can find something here. If not, that means I will have to really invest in a major air force around the islands that Japan controls, like down in the eastern Micronesia, the Mariana region, which will suck quite a bit. Oh, uh, something just happened. I, oh, we just researched something. Oh, something about ships, probably. Cool. Carriers, ha, da, 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 da. Planes, we're doing that, that's good. Bonus, air doctrine, I really want to do air doctrine. Uh, tanks could be, I don't want to produce outdated tanks. Oh, God dang it. Uh, construction, screw it, I don't know. I don't know what to create at this point. You come over here. You come over here. I'm probably making another group of marines somewhat soon. Yeah, it looks like the enemy isn't really trying to bait us or try to fight us in the West Emperor chain. I haven't seen anything over here. Zoo suits. Oh, zoo suits rise. Oh, I actually heard about this before. So, Hispanic youths wearing extravagant, extravagant clothes, zoo suits, have been the target of racialized or rather, yeah, racialized riots in the border cities in the south, stemming from sensational reporting over the deaths of a teenager in LA. Nine Mexican-American youths have been convicted for murder over the incident. Intelligence agents have compiled reports stating that the Zoot suitors are in fact fascist agents collaborating with ultra-Catholic Sinarquistas Sin in Mexico in order to assist in a Japanese-German invasion of the Americas. But we're not at war with the Germans. Uh, sounds rather unlikely. How much are we paying these agents? Uh, Zoot Suit writes... Yeah, I'm not even at war with Germany, so... I think we'll be okay. Oh, do they have convoys through here? Oh my gosh, look at all this crap. Oh, they do definitely have convoys down here. If anything, we will invade down here first. Uh, I need. If I'm going to do that, I need planes. I need to move a lot of my planes down that area. One, two, four, three, four, three. We're done with this stuff, which is nice. Oh yeah, definitely nuclear attack. Let's see. All right. See so yeah, nothing's really happening on here except we're seeking a lot of enemy convoys. So then, now, we have to produce a ton of heavy fighters down here. Naval bombers, let's go ahead and add them in to this area. House Committee supports presidential policy. Very nice. Oh, sounds like we're getting invaded. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put you in here. Since you have not a great range, but it's not bad compared to everything else. Uh... I don't know how many planes Japan has. I Oh, we're getting invaded down here. Oh, I'm glad I did this. Oh, and even the Chinese are trying to invade us. Go figure. Alright, so kind of speed it up, because I need I need more... 
Where are they? Heavy fighters, yeah. Nice. Even more heavy fighters, good. little bit just a little bit more range and we need more military factories oh nice it's in Michigan and then is that Nebraska I think it's oh it's Kansas I don't know these mid Midwestern states all pretty much blend together oh whoops oh, well. um it's only a year ahead hmm Naval Doctrine, stuff like that. Yes, Heavy Fighter Agility. Since we already have Heavy Fighters, we might as well do that. Yeah, they don't want to be baited around here. That sucks. Oh, wait, what? You're also operating down here? Oh, well, don't do that. I want you just to do this area. You are on split-offs if needed. No one's really been injured. And then the patrol group is doing... Fine, and we just added a 1940 USS Washington battleship. That gives us some major firepower now. Even though it's less armor, but a lot of heavy attack. And, okay, piercing. Alright, come on. Alright, so let's see. Before we do anything else, we have 100 naval bombers doing stuff. We have 375 air superior or planes doing air superiority. I think it is time we switch gears. Come down here. And then you, don't do this. Come down to Eastern Micronesia. With that mine, I will send the Marines. Oh, they're, they're striving for supplies. That's not good. Uh, oh, we're trying to build up infrastructure. Maybe we need more ports here. That should probably help them out. And then Marines, I want you to rebase. Uh, here. Actually, ah, screw, do, do it here. I want you to invade from here to, oh, I don't know, there, something like that. All right, so now we will definitely see if we can hit the Japanese Navy before we end the episode. Some part of the Japanese Navy. Patrols. Uh, nice. Better artillery. Might as well just max it out already. And yeah, there we go. You got a lot of artillery anyways. And medium risk is fine with me. You guys meet our medium risk as well. Uh, we haven't found anything yet. And I think we're pretty much good to go. God, this is kind of annoying. Go ahead and do some of that as well, just because I need you guys over here. Micronesian Gap. Enemy convoys. You know what? Oh, these guys aren't really, really ready yet for us to invade. Well, if we can't find the Japanese Navy, I at least want to start invading some of these islands. So we can slowly push Japan back towards her mainland. And then have a good time with her. As they're getting defeated by the British Raj. Very cool. Oh, Senate from Oklahoma offers support. Yeah. Build a munitions factory in Oklahoma. It's fine with me. Rights. Oh, it's like a Japanese convoy. I think Japan is pretty much out of convoys at this point. It should be pretty good. All right, are you guys ready to go yet? Just go ahead. Tactical bomber effort. Very nice. Streamline line. Awesome. Uh, air doctrine bonuses. All right, that's not bad. Pretty good idea. Um, engineering. Nah. Uh, let's do that since we have a lot of air XP that we will need more of. Nice, more Japanese convoys sunk. Yep, another one sunk. Do we have a? We do not have a hundred heavy fighters yet, but we're working on it. Convoys, convoys. Jesus Christ, Japan. Oh, what's that? More convoys. Do you not have any? Where's your fleet? What the hell is your fleet, that boy? 128 ships, 600 some convoys. As you get fewer and fewer every day, hopefully you're not hopefully producing too many. As we try to invade a Japanese island. If we can invade this successfully. If we cannot invade successfully, I will still end the episode. So, And we have... Have... Done it! Wow, there's no resistance down here. What the heck? With that in mind, I'm going to separate... Division...
fade from one place multiple times. Oh, and... That's really freaking awesome. So we'll do this next time we're here. But we have begun the invasion. Honestly, very, very cool. And this is the beginning of the end for the Japanese because they can't defend themselves. And they've been losing a bunch of convoys. But with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we have... Not, I forgot about Peru. Not going to lie. I did forget about Peru a little bit. I said we were going to finish them up this time, but I forgot about them. Hopefully next time I will remember about them. And we'll have a great time with them next time. As we do watch Germany basically steamroll the Soviet Union. Oh my gosh, I took over this entire area. That's so terrifying. But regardless, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And, like I said, I will see you tomorrow.